Hi everyone, so welcome back to uh, Military Wife Vlog, and it's been forever since I've done like a talking video, and I'll explain why, um, but if you've been watching some of my past videos in the last month or so, um, you've seen I've gone to Portland, Oregon, Chris and I have gotten tattoos, um, we then after that we road trip down to California, and Chris had a two week black leave um, that all of the soldiers get before they deploy. Um, so we headed down to California. It was like a 12 hour drive. Uh, Chris drove the entire way because I have no idea why. Um, he just wanted to get there quick. Um, and we spent Thanksgiving in California with Chris's family and it was so nice. Uh, we went to a Raiders football game, my first pro football game ever. I've never been and it was so exciting. And it happened to be military appreciation game that day so we got to see a bunch of like military inspired stuff and so it was kind of neat like it wasn't planned at all so um that was nice and then um we ended up trading our car in in california which was really random because well we were having problems with it and since chris was leaving he didn't want me to deal with having to take the car back and forth to the dealership with two children while he was deployed so he was like, let's go look at cars. So uh, we ended up looking at a few cars and we ended up trading in our old car. And um, we went from Ford to a Chevy and um, I'm pretty happy with the car. It's a little larger than I'm used to, but overall really happy and just I feel really blessed that we were able to do that, um, which isn't recommended to do before a deployment. Um, but I'm gonna do another video on like preparing for deployment and what I've learned, what I've done and what I've done so far in order to um, prepare ourselves or whatever. Uh, if you've been following my Facebook, um, my Instagram or my um, Facebook group more than a military spouse, I'm sure you've already figured out that my husband deployed already. Um, he's in the army, he's an MP um, and he's already gone now um i know some people are going to be like uh you can't really talk about that stuff well if it's already happened you can talk about it so it's already happened um it's already been more than a few days so um obviously there's going to be stuff that i'm not going to talk about um or that i can't answer um just for their safety and all that jazz so um that brings me to the deployment um so it was kind of rough. I'm not going to lie. The first day was extremely, extremely hard for me. This is Chris and I's first deployment together. He's um, This is his fourth deployment, um, but his first to Afghanistan. So it's kind of new to the both of us, even though he's already gone through deployment. Um, but yeah, it was kind of rough. Um, I think I want to say I was more scared then sad um i don't know just really nervous had anxiety um i guess because i was ready like i was ready for him to just go i was tired of playing the waiting game of figuring out like when they're actually gonna go because we had no idea um they kind of gave us like a roundabout and then it changed so it was kind of like two goodbyes and that ended up being like three goodbyes and um i am gonna say like they allowed the families to be there for like almost the entire morning before they left and I chose not to be and um because I felt like sitting in a room with a bunch of families and um military spouses like crying and stuff wasn't gonna benefit my children um because they probably would have felt bad themselves and then um I would have felt worse so what I ended up doing the day they deployed was um I dropped Chris off in the morning and then I went and grabbed him lunch and brought it back to him. And I said, see you later. Well, I went home and made him enchiladas, him and his one of his soldiers. Um, and then I came back and gave him dinner. And then we said our goodbye. And then he left. I didn't watch him in formation, like get on the bus or anything like that. Because it would have been really hard. Um, plus, the kids were asleep in the car. And um, Chris tried to wake them up to say goodbye, but they didn't. Um, so it was just kind of one of those things where we were just like, you know see you later i didn't want to say goodbye we didn't say goodbye we said see you later because um i don't know what what there's a movie is it the notebook 
they say see you later something maybe i don't know but we refuse to say goodbye um so he's been gone and i have heard from him he's doing fine um We've been able to Skype. We've also been able to send messages like text messages, but instant messages because we have iPhone um, to each other, even though I suspended his service. Um, and so that's really awesome. Um, I can give you more information. I'm going to do another separate video on like preparing for deployment and um, like what I've learned and all that good stuff in another uh, video like a deployment question and answer. So if you do have any questions for me, Regarding deployment, um, let me know. My husband's army, again, um, it's probably different than the other branches, so it might not pertain to you. Um, but for any of those spouses who um, are married to a service member in the army, let me know. Um, leave your questions down below. It could be any question. It could be mother questions, like how do you deal with it with your kids and all that jazz, because it's been quite, well, actually, I wanna say like the first night um, that Chris was gone, um, my kids pretty much took care of me and like my little boy, he didn't want to let me go anywhere like alone because he kind of already knew like I was sad, but he wouldn't leave me alone. So kids know what's going on. Um, they perceive it or they feel it. And um, I think it was kind of neat like how my children stepped up and took care of me and it was just so cute. And so without them, I would be going crazy. So um yeah, but I mean, everybody deals with deployment differently. I, um, like if I'm sad or depressed or lonely, I'm not going to say depressed because I've never been diagnosed with depression, but if I'm sad and upset um, and I don't want to be bothered really, like I put myself in this bubble and then I slowly crawl out. And so it's taken me days to do that. It, it's different for everybody. Um, I could get out of my bubble within days. Somebody could take weeks or months. Um, but for me, like it took me a little bit, um, I'm finally like a little bit back to normal and back to schedule. So I'm really happy. Um, I really thought I was gonna lose my appetite because usually when I have anxiety or I'm sad or something, I'll, I won't feel like eating and it's been the opposite. Like I wanna eat all the time. And I don't know if it's a myth, probably is, but someone had mentioned before that you you gain like 15 pounds of deployment weight or whatever it is, 20 pounds, probably not true. But I gained that in the last two months just eating. And I didn't realize it until I got on the scale and I was like, oh my gosh, like I've been emotional eating for two months and I have gained like weight. It might not look like that on camera, but on the scale it's different. And so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try and drop some weight. So continuing on, um, I'm actually drinking some Clamato juice. It probably sounds really nasty, but yeah. I haven't had much coffee since Chris has left, um, which I have no, I don't know, I don't know why. But um, what else has been going on? So pretty much that, I will do a, a Q&A um, question and answer video for you if you have any like questions, so I can just put it in one video. If not, I'll probably just do a video talking about some of the stuff I've been doing, some of the stuff I've been doing with the kids um, and helping them out with deployment. Um, and yeah, so I wanna show you this bracelet my uh, Chris's aunt gave us. Well, Chris has one too, um, his is black, but isn't that neat? It's a 550 cord or paracord or whatever you wanna call it. And it's got a little heart. I don't know, I love it. Um, I've been wearing that. Um, also been wearing this necklace. Chris has the other half. Um, we've had these ever since we started dating and it's like the separation prayer. And then he gave me like his green beanie. Um, he bought a new one and so he gave me his old one. And yeah, so what's to come on my video or my channel? Um, basically, um, I'm gonna be filming like my usual cooking videos. Um, Goodwill video. I have a thrift haul that I want to post that it's collective um, I didn't thrift shop in California, which really surprised me, but I'm going to do a collective one uh, winter stuff and um, That's basically it so far So if you have any requests if you're new to my channel and you have a request or you want to see something or you saw a video And you're like, why doesn't she do this anymore? Um, request it down below and I'll get to that um, I want to do another video on a box that I was sent 
um, because I signed up for it um, later on. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be filming more regularly like I was before. I just needed this time to just kind of like soak it all in and I'm a little I'm, I'm back now Chris is going to vlog on his channel he's already put up like one like super mini like hey I'm alive and I'm here kind of vlog on his channel at uh, throw beats 21 uh, please go check that out he's going to be vlogging while he's in Afghanistan as much as he can if they allow him to um, but yeah they should be able to allow some stuff and i'll insert pictures um in the next video of like what's been happening so far um and yeah so thank you so much for your continued support it means so much to me i'm sorry this was like talk 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 um but yeah so that's in a nutshell and um thank you so much to all the ladies who have been messaging me um supporting me and just being there for me and um Go ahead and join my Facebook group if you haven't at More Than a Military Spouse on Facebook. Um, I love I love that environment there. Um, and yeah, so I will catch you on the next video. Don't forget to leave your questions down below. They don't have to really be deployment related. Um, but yeah, so talk to you later. Bye.